The off-plan market is one aspect which is truly unique. It provides investors an opportunity to buy into the city without spending all their money at once. In this video, I'll be revealing what the off-plan market is, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages, and how you as an investor can benefit from buying off-plan real estate. So what exactly is off-plan real estate? To put it simply, it's buying property which hasn't been constructed yet. You can think of it like buying a brand new car, you put on a pre-order, and then you pay some money, and eventually you get a brand new car. And that is exactly the same for off-plan real estate, apart from instead of getting a car, you get a brand new property in Dubai. So how exactly does this work? It's through the use of a payment plan. This is effectively a fixed payment schedule where you'll periodically pay off for property while it's being constructed. You can think of it almost like an interest-free mortgage apart from you're not in debt to the bank. So you can see on the screen now a payment plan of a developer I'm currently working with. A one bedroom property costs 1.2 million dirhams with an expected handover date in July 2026. So if you decided you wanted this property, you'd have to pay a 20% down payment or 240,000 dirhams. And then each quarter you'd have to pay 5% or 60,000 dirhams for the first two years of construction. And then once the property is ready to be handed over, you'll pay the remaining 40% or 480,000 dirhams. And then the property is all yours to either enjoy or receive a rental income. Before I talk to you about the advantages and disadvantages of Dubai real estate, the investor I was just talking about built some of the best quality developments in the whole of Dubai. And if you want to find out more, you can book a call in the link below or sign up to my weekly newsletter. So what exactly are the advantages of buying off-plan real estate? These are, you get a brand new property, the potential for capital appreciation, especially in popular developments and communities. You can buy into Dubai real estate without the massive upfront costs or debt. The final point of managing your cash flow, I would like to talk about more because this is such a huge advantage. This is because you can budget and you know exactly how much needs to be paid and when, and you don't need to sink your entire net worth into one property. This means you can carry on earning money and use that capital to pay off the payment plan without the need to sell any of your other investments. This is an absolute game changer for someone looking to diversify their portfolio and buy into Dubai real estate without selling their other investments or taking on massive debt. So what exactly are the drawbacks of purchasing off-plan real estate? The first and most obvious risk is development risk. For example, what happens if your developer runs out of money or the project looks completely different to what you were promised? This happened to a lot of investors in 2008 where the developers went bankrupt and people lost their entire life savings. Fortunately, today the money is held in an escrow account, so there isn't the risk of developers running off with your money. However, there's still the risk of property delays with some projects being delayed by over one year. Or there is the risk of a development being poorly constructed and it doesn't live to your expectations. This is a massive risk when you are buying off-plan real estate because you can't physically go and see the property which is being built and you're having to rely on the trust of the developer. A way to mitigate this risk is investing in high quality of developers which have a reputation to uphold. I know I talk about the developer a lot, but I really cannot underestimate how important it is, especially if you're buying off-plan real estate. And finally, there's one more massive disadvantage of buying off-plan real estate. So what's the point in investing in real estate and then having to wait three years to receive any rental income? And that is a very valid argument. Why would you buy a property which doesn't even exist, where there's lots of risk, 
where you can buy a ready one which you can see today. Well, that all comes down to your personal choice, investment goals and risk tolerance. One person may want to put all their money into one property and then they're going to have guaranteed rent from today. Whilst others may be happy to take on the added risk and invest that money into three different off-plan units and make use of the payment plan. And then once the properties are ready, they'll have three sources of income. So you can see there's a number of different strategies for investing in real estate. For some people, they want a ready property. For others, they would rather buy off-plan real estate and know they can manage their cash flow. Which one is better for you is a personal choice. And if you want to find out why I think the off-plan real estate market is about to explode, watch this video here and don't forget to like and subscribe.